Hello. As the more astute among you may have noticed, I am not inane dragon. I am bad-tempered badger, and I will be standing in for Mr. Dragon today in a very kindly provided guest spot. In the wake of recent events, I thought it was time to revisit the subject of freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is the right of people to express their opinions publicly without governmental interference. The concept has existed since at least the 5th century in Roman ancient Greece, and is widely recognised as a basic human right and one of the central pillars of free society. It is also the reason we are able to create the spiciest memes. In a democracy, it is vital that the people are able to speak freely. Ideas must be thoroughly discussed, challenged, tested and double-checked before they become societal norms. An idea that can stand up to the scrutiny of an entire society is far more likely to be correct than one that's acceptance is demanded by authority. Your choice is not free if you are not free to hear all available facts and opinions. Even the opinions are that one relative whose words always smell of whiskey. The process of conjecture and refutation in general discourse informally mirrors the peer review system in science. Bad ideas are shown to be bad by their results when tested. For example, the idea that there is a global conspiracy to conceal the Earth being flat is, while not eradicated, so widely discredited that it holds no sway over the world. Free expression is also a natural defence against tyranny. It is very difficult to establish a dictatorship if anyone in the population can freely point out that that's what's going on. Free speech is one of the first things to go when a cult is established, as control of information is vital to control people. This can be seen in effect in those countries still led by dictatorships. Any criticism of the regime is met with harsh punishment. This is also the case with repressive religious ideologies, such as most branches of Islam, where opposition is silenced and leaving can get one the death penalty. People in many Islamic countries are beginning to voice their displeasure openly, and, though they are met with violence, they are beginning to make a difference. Free speech is vital to protect whistleblowers, those who shine a light on the nefarious and illegal activities of corrupt businesses and politicians, at great personal risk to themselves. It is essential that these people are protected, as, without them, abuse of power goes undiscovered and great harm can be done with no hope of redress. Blasphemy laws are another fine example of censorship in action. There are still many countries where simply stating that you don't believe a certain religion to be true can get you executed. The number is decreasing, but even supposedly democratic countries still enforce them to an extent. In recent years, free expression has come under attack from almost every direction. Religious organisations have, of course, tried to impose their views on others. So-called deplatforming attempts are made against anyone saying anything controversial, not attacking their ideas, but their ability to speak at all. This is seen online when a person is falsely flagged in an attempt to remove them from a platform. It also happens in academia, where universities have become increasingly fond of banning speakers, news sources, and even forms of expression such as fancy dress. Restrictive codes of conduct are also being put in place, which demonise certain words or ideas. Another worrying example is the mainstream media, which has often apparently avoided any speakers with opinions that differ from the current norm. Discussion of religion, sexuality, race, politics, or anything else that could be considered objectionable is stifled, ignored, and decried as bigoted and dangerous. Strangely, this has been coming from supposedly progressive media sources. Saying an idea is offensive is not an argument. It is used to close down a conversation before it starts and avoid having one's world view challenged. It is a very cult-like tactic, similar to how Scientology would use any means to discredit those that left its fold to prevent damage to its reputation. Any restriction to free expression must be fought to the end. Without the right to express any view without fear, society will find itself on a quick downward slope. 
This can already be seen by the state of modern comedy, when no envelopes have been pushed for over a decade. It can be seen in the convictions of Count Dankula and Chelsea Russell for non-crimes that harm no one. It is the duty of every free-thinking person to protect this most basic right, because after all, if we're not able to say what we think, Thanks for watching, and thanks again to Inane Dragon for this guest spot. If you haven't found my voice too boring, please feel free to check out my channel, Bad Tempered Badger, which hopefully he'll have linked in the description. I talk about various topics, hopefully some of which you'll find interesting.